What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are playing Forza Horizon 3, and we are going to be turning this Focus RS into an absolute off-road monster. Now, the Focus RS is more of a street street fighter type car, um, like an urban fighter type car, uh, from the factory, but... We're Like I said, it does have some rally car heritage, but we're going to be turning it from not just... We're not just going to be making a rally car, because I feel like that would be a little bit too easy. Um, it's going to get all the rally parts, but we're going to set it up for more than just a rally car. This is going to be set up as, as off... Like, it's going to be set up to be as dedicated off-road as we can pretty much possibly make it. So, um, or at least as, as, as off-road oriented as they'll let us make it which I don't know how how off-road oriented they'll let us make it but we're gonna find out we're gonna hopefully uh, take this thing pretty damn far so let's get the intercooler on let's get the um, oil and cooling system upgraded all the way get a race flywheel done that puts us at 583 horsepower and 400, uh, 546 foot-pounds of torque at 3458 pounds now up next we've got the chassis to sort out which sport brakes mm, race brakes because why not uh rally springs and dampers which we should be able to um well not should be able to we we can adjust those and get those to exactly the way we want and we're gonna leave the cage out for now uh race weight reduction done and we'll get the drivetrain all sorted so it's beefed up as much as it needs to be because you never want to let the you never want to just do a whole bunch of other upgrades and then leave the drivetrain alone because that's just a recipe for not being able to tune the power that you've put into the car. And let's see. Let's do... Well, for tire compound, we're going to need the rally compound because it's the grippiest off-road compound you can put on it. I wish you could put those really knobby off-road tires on it that you can put on some of the trucks, but unfortunately you can't. Uh, let's see. What do we want for wheels? Those are kind of different. I don't know. I want something that's that's got like a really tough look to it. Those do, but I also know that they're I don't know, they're very Porsche style and it doesn't really suit the style of this car. What else do we want to get? Let's see. Hmm. These are insanely deep dish, like ridiculously deep dish. Let's try the sport wheel style. Those actually look really good. Those look like they actually suit the car quite well. And now we're going to leave the wheel size alone. Just keep them as small as they can be for the application that we're doing. And arrow, we're going to probably... Yeah, we'll leave the arrow alone for now. Doesn't really need to do... Doesn't really need to be um, messed with all that much. We could do an engine swap or convert it to rear drive. I'm not going to do either of those because I want to make this thing... Like I said, this thing is going to be an off-road beast. That's the point of this build. And uh, now that we're done with the setup, let's go ahead and mess with the tune just a little bit and then take it off-road and uh, frankly, see if, we, uh, see if we've got any potential with this car. Let's see. We'll drop the tire pressure down a little bit to like 25 front and rear. Gearing, we are going to bump it way up. And I'm talking way up. Final drive, we're going to sit it at 470. And alignment, we'll leave the alignment alone for now. Uh, we're going to soften down the sway bars a lot because, like I said, off-road focus RS. Remember what we're building this for. Springs, we're softening those down. And just a little bit more to do. We got the dampening to do. And let's see... We won't soften it all the way. We'll soften it a bit. And arrow-wise, we can leave it alone. A little bit more front brake bias, 55% and 110. And let's see. The rear will be locked. And we'll leave the front as it is with a 70%... Yeah, seventy percent should work for now. Uh, I'll mess with the I'll mess with the power split of the differential as we get more experience with the car. So, oh god, well that sits down and launches. It does it pull a wheel when we're turning? I think it does. I think it does. That's that's gonna be weird. Uh, not quite. Well, wait. Let me make a hard turn and then check. Alright, are we pulling a wheel up? Uh, 
not quite. It wants to. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're kind of? Kind of? I don't know, it looks like we are, and then I look at it again, and it looks like we're not. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, no, we are. Yeah, we are. It's off the ground. It is off the ground. It, it's pulling a wheel. It's pulling a wheel. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Okay, I'm okay with that now. <laughs> I'm okay with it now. But, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take it out and jump it through the dunes and see how it reacts. So far, the soft suspension actually feels pretty good. It's pretty controllable, too. Recovers nicely from jumps. I like it. Let's see. Actually, oh, God. All right, I'm going to find the, the actual dunes and get some dune jumping going. Oh, my God. That was too freaking close. That was the closest I've ever, I think, come to a tree and not hit it. Oh, my God. That is insane. Oh, jeez. Woo! No, 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 no. Some trees, you can't tell if they're breakable or not, and it's better to, like, just to not risk your combo if you've got one already going. Wow, this thing recovers so well. This is fun. This is this this car's fun. You guys need to try this if you want a fun, like, off-road car. And actually, I mean, it can kind of get it going on the like on the pavement too this thing is is pretty good it's really fun it's got enough power that it's manageable and when i say manageable i, I mean like easily manageable the suspension setup makes it super easy to land these jumps too like look at that it's so easy it likes to actually pull these little wheelies as it walks away from a jump which is kind of funny because normally you don't get cars wanting to do that but this one does for some odd reason and I think it's probably because of the way I have the dampening set up. I'll, I'll figure that one out later. But I think, wow, this thing, it loves jumps. I don't think I've ever had a streetcar converted to an off-roader that loves jumps quite this much. Also kind of loves the rev limiter. <laughs> It's so easy to flick it around, too. Like, this car drifts out and back so easily. With the all-wheel drive? God! It's also not super prone to flipping over off of these jumps, which is really nice, because you get some cars sometimes that they just flip at the, like, purely at the, at the thought of going near one of these jumps. They're just like, eh, I'm already gonna be flipped over. Don't, don't even worry about me, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be on my side already. But no, this really does well come on pull it pull it <laughs> dude it just stays in it it just freaking stays in it and i love that about this car i love it about this car it's just like it's just this fun little thing you could pretty much throw it at whatever you want we'll pull these little wheelies mid drift too which are hilarious and you can easily just, it's got enough rear power bias with the stock diff. I'm not going to change the diff up. I'm really, I'm genuinely not going to change the diff up. Also, if you want freaking skill chains, build this damn car. I've been going at this for a few minutes now, and look at my combo. Like, God, if you want a, like, almost completely OP uh, skill chain car, here's your car right here. Here's your car, take it to the sand dunes, and have a good time. Because that is literally what this car is freaking for, dude. Oh my god. Just throw jumps just throw jumps in whenever you want. Throw drifts in whenever you need to catch a combo. And you will just go and go and go and go. God. I love this car. <laughs> You just rack up the ultimate airs too. Get the little kangaroo uh, combinations going. And jeez! I also don't think I've ever driven anything with this good of a factory all-wheel drive power split. Like, honestly, this thing, I, I don't even want to change the power split. I, I don't. I Oh, okay, 515,000. I'm okay with that, but I really wish we could have kept going. God, it shouldn't have, it, like, it shouldn't have cut off when we were in the air. But... God, dude, this car is a beast for skill chains. The the off-road this off-road version of the Focus RS 
freaking build one. You guys, just seriously, freaking build one like right now. God, I, 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 I don't even believe this car. That it, it didn't take long to build that skill chain either. So if you guys enjoyed this video in Forza Horizon 3, don't forget to slam that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.